Hello everybody, this is uh, Golden Times Television, right, live from the Agro and Ainsley Day. Here we have two beautiful members of the Summer University Coordination Team. Please represent, please present yourselves. Hello, this is Magda Kasprits from IZ, uh, Krakow and she is the, the PR responsible of the SUKT. Yeah, and this is our dear Hara, our project manager of the Summer University Coordination Team. So, um, how, what do you think about this year's Summer University application period? What general trends do you see with Summer Universities this year? In general, about the SU applications, we see that all the members apply on the last day. And this yeah, is... That still remains a general trend, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yes. Because a lot of problems can occur with the intranet, with their passwords. And we were trying to fix that, but they don't listen to us. They don't <laughs> listen to us. But in general, about the summer universities, uh, like as you know, this year uh, it was obligatory for every summer university to have a specific theme to be organized under a specific theme, and we were really strict about that. And we were also strict about the number of tuition hours. And in general, because we are always like, we want to make some universities really courses on subject to really give something to participants. Number of applicants is the same as last year more or less? Uh, more or less yes, like yeah. 50, 100 less, but it's okay. And why are there still a few language courses? That's a nice question, but actually we didn't have any requests from the organizers that they wanted to have a language course. Maybe they're afraid that they do not have the, uh, the professors. Yeah, they, maybe they don't have possibilities really to organize like a, because they, they, there are summer courses which offer language uh, language uh, courses as well, but not so many tuitions and not as as such a professional level as the, it is required for the language courses. Okay, I've seen you something very new, which is like some university European schools. What is that? Uh, this is a summer university in cooperation with the Academy. And it's actually a European school, the training that we all know, either European School 1 or 2, and the summer university together. So for two weeks, uh, the participants will have the, the opportunity to be part of a training such as uh, the European School is. And at the same time, participate in summer university and... Yeah. So it's like a perfect combination. <laughs> Which are the most popular, popular summer universities this year? Uh, the same as last year. <laughs> Isaac Catania with uh, Isaac Valletta. Yes, year. that was the most, the most popular summer university. And then Cagliari, Isaac Cagliari. Yes, Helsinki as well. Yes, Helsinki, yes. So, but, but mainly, I guess, uh, places in the south. Yes, hey, it's the beach, it's the Mediterranean <laughs> weather. Yeah. And which uh, antennae are sending most people away to some universities? Uh, Budapest. Budapest, yes. I say Budapest. Budapest. They have many, many members going to some university every year. And also there's a lot of members from Spanish antennas. Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, we'll be back late, uh, later with another interview with you about the Agora. Thank you. <laughs>